Dundas is a hero. Now, Dundas is our man, Henry Dundas, in St Andrew's Square in Edinburgh. And the SNP Council, in cooperation with the local BLM people, are trying and are intending to desecrate his memory and to desecrate his statue. And it, as many of you will know, we we've, we've make we're making this like our case. The the BLM people had a rally at the foot of his statue back on the twentieth of June, and we had about forty people there with us, speaking out. I was on the microphone and I gave three speeches about Dundas, um, what he was about, and about this battle against the slave trade, and about all the British sailors who died as well fighting. Uh, fighting for the abolition of slavery. Anyway, the latest thing is that the SNP Council, in cooperation with the BLM group, have produced a new plaque which they're going to splatter onto the bottom of the monument, which is just a bunch of lies, complete and utter lies, and not just lies, but absolutely illogical lies. Now, this is... Um, has to go through the planning application process and the planning application process ends on Friday the 18th of September that's next Friday but comments the, the the application is open to comments on the Edinburgh planning application comment page and at the moment there are about a thousand comments and it's about two to one for the desecration there's about 600 and odd who want it to be desecrated these are clearly SNP and BLM people who have been mobilized and there's about three to four hundred people who are against the desecration so we'll put up the link in the comments here what we suggest you do if you'd like to weigh in in support of Dundas if you would like to object to this plaque then please click that there link to Dundas planning application form and put in a good word for him. Put in a good word for him. And if you want to know the story behind that, then click on the also the, the, the link that we put there. Dundas is a hero. But basically, very briefly, what happened was that the year was 1792 and William Pitt the Younger wanted to abolish slavery in the British Empire. But he was facing a House of Commons and a Lord's many of whom were um, had vested interests in the industries which employed or which had slaves, which used slaves. And so it was going to be a difficult thing to get that through Parliament. And as we've spoken before, it wasn't actually until 1832 when Charles Grey brought in the Reform Act that cleared out a lot of shall we say corrupt uh, MPs, MPs who only had their position because they were in boroughs where so in some cases there was not even any electors. So it wasn't until 1832 that progress in the British Parliament was made on that and indeed in 1833 slavery was abolished after the new in lot of MPs came in in 1833. However, going back to 1792, <clears throat> William Pitt the Younger tasked Henry Dundas to get this through Parliament as best as he could. And so what he did was he put an amendment into the Slavery Abolition Bill that said that the amendment, that the abolition would be gradual. And lo and behold, that succeeded in getting it through the House of Commons. But we all know those of us who know how the British Parliament works, it then had to go to the Lords. And at the Lords, it failed and it got chucked out. And that was back in the day when the Lords were the ultimate uh, the ultimate uh, house. Today, you can overrule the, ha the House of Lords. But back then in 1792, if the Lords said it wasn't going to be done, it wasn't done. So Henry de Das did succeed in getting that bill through the House of Commons, which was an amazing piece of diplomacy, only for it to fail in front of the Lords. But here's the illogicality of the BLM position and the SNP Council position. They blame Henry Dundas for delaying 
the abolition of slavery, when in fact it's nothing to do with Henry Dundas. He did his best at the time and he got it halfway through Parliament. And so why are they even blaming him at all? It makes no sense and it only makes sense if you accept that these people either don't know how the British Parliament works or don't even know what they're talking about. And I think the latter is probably largely the case. So we make all these points, we lay it out very clearly in our article, Dundas is a hero. And so you might want to read that, it's a short article, have a look at that and then make your case why this plaque should not go up because it is illogical and it's frankly wrong and it states here the plaque is going to state that this plaque was dedicated to the memory of more than half a million Africans whose enslavement was a consequence of Henry Dundas's actions that's just lies utter lies it's just it's not even historically correct it's complete nonsense yet you're smearing this man's name and this man, in his age and in his time, was actually what we would call a progressive today. Henry Dundas wanted Irish Catholics to get the vote. That was an unusual thing for MPs at the time to want. He was an advocate of Gaelic in the Highlands. And he, um, he, he was a unionist as well, it should be added. He supported the unionists and he supported the the uh, Hanoverian succession. So he was, um, you know, he's a great, he's a great man and he deserves his statue. And people say, oh, but he got impeached. Well, he did make some enemies in the parliament and some people will say it was because he was quite Scottish, you know, and that maybe some, some of the types in the parliament didn't really like his brash style. Anyway, he got impeached, which simply means charged by his peers, and he chose to be ch uh, to be tried, as it were, in front of the House of Lords, and every single charge against him was thrown out and thrown out overwhelmingly. So it was probably a setup in many ways, but he never went into politics after that final bad experience in his life. But he was the man who was first Lord of the Admiralty built up the British Royal Navy so that it was ultimately to defeat to defeat Napoleon at the at the Battle of Trafalgar a few years later. So with all for Henry Dundas, Henry Dundas is the man quite frankly and we're not going to hear a bad word said against him and if you can please put in a good word for him, please do so at that link to the Dundas planning application where the SNP Council to its utter shame to its utter shame, is intending to desecrate this great monument. Okay, so if you can do that, thank you very much. And let's get some good comments in there because you can be assured that all the other comments are just S Scottish nationalists or BLM people who don't know any better. They don't know any better, so they need to read our articles on that matter so that they can understand that, in fact, this is a Scotsman that you should be supporting. You're the Scottish National Party. You should be supporting Scottish people, not not dumping on their memory.